Hi there. In the last video, I discussed the challenges of Office Lingo. Today, I'm going to explore the deficit in office communication. When leaders or coworkers notice changes in the behavior of another coworker. You know, the office mate that you used to enjoy working with, but now kills your buzz with constant complaining, well, it can be a sign that they're burning out, or worse, fostering a mental health illness. It can be hard to recognize the signs. And when I started to enter the mental health danger zone, I had no idea what was going on. I knew I was exhausted and asked multiple times for some relief, but the relief never came. The seriousness of my circumstances were dismissed and I just got worse and worse. When people start to burn out, it changes their body chemistry, triggering a relentless cycle of stress hormones, stress reaction, releasing fight or flight hormones, more stress, more stress, so on and so on. It's like a snowball rolling downhill, collecting more and more snow and getting bigger by the day. But what can you look out for? Well, if you notice someone complaining all the time or chronically coming into the office late or not taking care of themselves as they once did, chances are something's going on and they may need help. This is not your cue to avoid them but to step in by asking questions and taking their complaints seriously. So creating an open dialogue about mental health in the workplace is vital. It fosters an environment where seeking help is accepted and encouraged. Implementing regular check-ins can provide early support and prevent issues from escalating and promoting a balanced work-life culture with sufficient breaks and relaxation opportunities. It's crucial in preventing burnout. Embracing these strategies can transform a stressful environment into a supportive one. The results? More engaged, healthier, and productive team. It's not only individual well-being, but it also enhances overall team performance. Don't wait for the snowball to become an avalanche. If you notice a colleague struggling, reach out, offer support, and encourage them to seek professional help. Your intervention could be the turning point they need. Have you had experiences and strategies you've used to combat workplace stress? Have you burned out or been diagnosed with anxiety or depression and didn't know how to handle it at work? Let me know. Let's brush away the stigma and talk candidly about these experiences.